Now I'm going to the next one. So imagine I'm going to have one more function called show sum. But in this scenario, it doesn't seem like accepting any kind of parameters. But I would like to have that particular method, uh, sorry, that particular function to be executed with any number of parameters. So I'm calling show sum with any number of parameters. Okay, so in JavaScript we have something called as arguments. So this arguments is a built-in one. So, so this will be simply an array. So that array contains each and every particular parameter whatever we are going to send to that function. So we can make use of this arguments array and finally loop through each and every particular element available in that array. Add all of those elements to a particular variable called sum and finally get it displayed. Okay, so in that way I can have s equal to 0. So something considering s as sum. And I will call something like, this is the, the traditional loop. And you can see arguments dot. So we have the length here. So I have a typo. Okay, so now you can see this particular loop is going against each and every particular value available in this array called arguments. Okay, and now I will add all of those elements directly to the variable s. Yes. And finally, I just display the same whatever I have here. But instead of a plus p and two string, I will have s. Yes. Okay, so I will execute this. And now we should be able to have all of those numbers getting added. So, so that's the dynamic array. So you can add as many number of numbers possible and all of those numbers will be put into a single array called arguments. And we can parse through each and every, every element available in that array. And then you know we can do any kind of operation including sum. Okay.